today we're going to investigate the relationship between two numerical variables. So an example could be when we had we collected the height and weight of a group of people or something like that. Um, so this one we go a lot into when we're looking into two numerical variables. And the way we display this data once we collect it is often in a scatter plot. So we're going to use a scatter plot. Now it's very important that you pick the correct variable for the response because that variable needs to go on the y-axis of your scatter plot and the explanatory variable needs to go on the x-axis. So we're going to take a look and we do a lot of these on the calculator so we're going to be looking at our calculator a lot. So first of all we're going to have a look at this um, set of data. So this was taken from a class and they did test 1 and test 2. So whether they were going to see whether test 1 had an impact on the test 2. So in this case, because we're going to see whether what happened with test 2, that's probably our response variable. And this test 1 will be our explanatory, so our along the x-axis. Alright, so what we have to do to create a scatter plot on our calculator is first of all we um, need to go to... Uh, lists and spreadsheets. So like what we've been putting our other data in. So what I would do is up here and I give it a label. So test one. Now I've already entered this in previously so this is miraculously going to appear which it did. But you would type them all in. And then you type in your test two and pop it in. So it doesn't matter which one you put in in your list. So the, this is not the point where we're deciding um, which one's this response or explanatory. We just need to put pop the two lists in. Okay, once we've got those two lists in, we're going to click our home key again and we're going to go back to our data and stats page, which is this pink one. All right, so we've been doing our box plots and um, dot plots here, but now we've got two lists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and add... Um, my explanatory variable which was test one and if you hover over here where the y-axis would be it's saying click to enter so I click enter and I pick number two and so here's our scatter plot so this is what we would draw so if you um, if when you go to do them in your your uh, for your workbook in your textbook I'm happy for you to either save them on your calculator to show me or we can even, you can put your calculator screen, just pop it under the paper and do a quick trace, just doing a quick sketch of the scatter plot. Okay, so then that's our scatter plot. So let's have a look at another set of data and have another go at it. So we've got here in our notes, it says construct a scatter plot on your calculator for the following. So it's um, it took out um, hours worked and then some participation rate. Sorry, I don't know where I grabbed the data from. I've missed the blurb. But what I'm going to suggest is that the hours worked is going to affect the what participation rate is. So you can see, like I can see someone who's working 50 hours is not participating. So we this participation rate is probably what we're looking at or predicting. So they've actually listed the response variable first here. And the hours worked will be our explanatory. So explanatory means it's on the x-axis. So they've actually listed the x list on the bottom. Okay, so this is never put in any particular order. You need to decide. So we're going to pop our calculator up again. And we're going to create our new list. So we would go into list and spreadsheets. And um, we might participation rate. I'm just... And I just abbreviated it. I want you to try and use a word that is relating to it. So you can, if you make a mistake or you need to get it back, you can. So we press enter. There we go. And um, hours worked. Oops, sorry. Going to type that in. And there I've typed all those lists in. So I've typed the lists in. And I'm going to go back to the home key. Going to click on this. And we're going to select. Now I said hours was the X and participation rate was the Y. So we can see here as our hours increased the participation rate went down. 
okay? So we'll be looking at these scatter plots and describing them in a lot more, but just for the moment, we're just looking at how we create them. Um, just while I've got you here, you might be interested. If you wanted to create a parallel box plot, say we're going to use those two tests on I want to, because and then I'm saying test one is our um, explanatory is an explanatory variable and it's test score. So say I'm going to put test one. So I'm going to click test one and I go to menu, plot type, box plot. So there's test one. If I want to do a parallel box plot because I want to compare the two, what I want to do is I want to click um, menu and plot properties. And because you want to add another X, so you say you want to add another X, and this is where I click test two. So as you can see now, I've got my um, a parallel box plot here. I want data with toes. I don't know. I don't know what I've done now. Oh no, we have big toes. So the median didn't change. So anyway, there's how you can um, do a parallel box plot uh, um, if you need to.